Hi, everybody. My name is Troy Trigstead. I'm the executive director at CPSN USA. We're a clinically integrated network of almost 3,000 pharmacies across the United States who provide enhanced services within their pharmacies to their local communities. But I'm also an American Pharmacists Association Foundation board member. And today I want to talk about why it is that I give to the APHA Foundation. And for me personally, it has everything to do with laying the seeds and the foundations for future marketplaces for pharmacists and pharmacy services. That's what it's all about. And when I think back on a lot of the projects we have now at CPSN USA for these pharmacies, things like collecting A1Cs and reporting them, reducing A1Cs, a lot of the adherent stuff in and around and coaching and self diabetes self-management, anything going on with diabetes in the pharmacy, some portion of our ability to do that can be brought back to the APHA Foundation and some of their early work. If we go all the way back 20 years ago to the Asheville project, right? It was about using pharmacists and pharmacies to get patients to goal with their A1Cs and they reduced total cost of care. They reduced absenteeism, increased, increased productivity, and they demonstrated that it did make sense to use pharmacists and pharmacies for this purpose. And then we had the 10 city challenge that came past that. Then we had project impact diabetes. And today, it's not crazy for a payer, a purchaser, or a partner to consider pharmacists and pharmacies to help their patients and their members achieve better health and better diabetes care. So why do I give to the American Pharmacists Association Foundation? Because I know that the opportunities that we have at CPSN USA are at least in part owed to the early work that happened with the foundation. So I want to thank the foundation and I want to encourage you to give to the APHA Foundation as well. Thanks for listening.